We are going to use the midpoint formula where n is equal to 6 to approximate this integral. Okay, so it's the integral from 1 to 4, so we have the region from 1 to 4 underneath this curve, square root of l n x. And the first thing that we have to do is figure out how wide each rectangle is. First of all, we have 6 rectangle, so that means n is equal to 6. And how wide each rectangle is, that's the delta x. And you can use the formula, we can just look at the region that we're talking about from 1 to 4, right? So the formula is saying b minus a over n, where b is equal to 4, minus a is equal to 1, and then divided by n is 6. And then if you work out 4 minus 1, which is 3, divided by 6, you get 0 0.5. In other words, delta x is equal to 0 0.5. And here is how we are going to draw the rectangles. First of all, I'm just going to go up every 0 0.5 units. So starting with 1, the next number I will get is 1.5. The next number will be 2. The next number will be 2.5. 2.5 right here. And the next number is going to be 3. And then right here will be 3.5. So I go up every 0.5 units. And here is how we are going to draw the rectangles. We are not using any of the left or right end points. But rather, we have to figure out the middle number. Look at 1, look at 1.5, figure out what's the middle number. Couple ways to do it. The first way is like, the easiest way is that like you do it in your head. 1 and 1.5 is, uh, in between of them is 1.25 of course, right? And if you would like to use formula, what we can do is, it's the average of these two numbers, which is 1 plus 1.5, and you divide it by 2, which you get 1.25. Okay? Anyways, I had to figure out the middle number. The first one is going to be 1.25, and this one is going to be the number in between of 1.5 and 2, and that's 1.75. And then the next one is going to be 2.25, 2.75, 3.25, and 3.75. Okay? And this is how we're going to draw a rectangle. Starting in the middle, and then you go up, once you hit the curve, what you do is, you go to the left, you go to the right. So you go to the left, up to 1, and then you go down, draw a rectangle, and then you go to the right, go down, like that. Ne the next rectangle, you start in the middle, and you go up, once you hit the curve, go to the left, and then up to uh, 1.5, you go down, and then you, f you go from here, you go to the right, once you hit 2, you go down, like that. And then let me just draw the rest of the rectangle for you guys. You go up, um, left, and right, and then you stop on here. Go up, left, and right. Stop right here. You go up, left, and right, and you stop right here, and you go left and right. Okay. So it's not the best picture, but you get the idea. Anyways, here's the formula for the middle uh, for the midpoint. Mn is equal to delta x times bunch of this. Well, what does this mean? Delta x is just how wide each rectangle is, which we found it to be 0 0.5 by that. And then each of this represents the height of the rectangle. Notice that for the height of the first rectangle, it's a y value where the x value is equal to 1.25, okay? Because you based off with x is equal to 1.25. That's the height. So it's just computing um, the area of a bunch of rectangles. That's all. And you have this formula. The x1 bar is exactly the middle number, and that's the one we found. So I can label this as x1 bar. And then the next one is x2 bar, the average in between of the 1.5 and 2, x2 bar, and so on. And you will see that x1 bar is 1.25, x2 bar is 1.75, x3 bar is 2.25, and so on, so on, so on. And now, it's just a matter of figuring out the y value when x is equal to 1.25. And to do that, we can use a calculator. Let me show you guys real quick. So, we are going to graph, make a graph, and go to second calc, and then go to value. And for the first one, I want the x to be 1.25. So I just need to enter 1.25. And now I will get my y value right here. Okay, and that's the y value I wrote down. Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, what you've done wrong, but like, maybe let me just fix that. Anyway, this is supposed to be point four seven two three eight one two three four, and then the next one is one. Anyways, you just keep doing that, and then the next one one point seven five, you can just press one point seven five, and then you can get the y value right here. And I think I wrote it down correctly that time. So this is N, not on the source. And then do the rest, figure this out, figure that out, figure that out, figure that out. At the end, you add it all together. And then don't forget the delta X is 0 0.5. So at the end, you multiply by 0 0.5. And finally, you should get this for the answer. This is it.